Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you just in time for Easter how to make a Easter egg paper cutout like the one you see right here. It's really simple. There's one trick in the middle. I'll show you how to get through it. And with that, let's get started. So I start with an artboard that's 1920 by 1080 and we're going to press M and draw a box, a rectangle over top of the entire shape. Just give it a blue color. And now we're going to make our egg. It's really easy. Press L to use your circle tool, click and hold shift, and make a small circle like that in the middle. And we're going to give it a different color, and actually I'm going to use a gradient because that's a quite interesting effect. You don't have to, but I will in this case. So I'm going to use a gradient there, we have our gradient, I'm just going to press G and rotate it by 90 degrees, and then move it right here. Okay, cool. To make an egg, it's really simple, select your circle, press A, click on your anchor point up here and just hold and drag it up until you get an egg shape. That's all it takes to make an egg shape. Super easy. Now I'm going to center this right here. And the next thing we're going to make a big egg. And we're going to do that by making this actually a tiny bit smaller. And again, centering it. Ta -da 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 -da. Good. We're going to select this egg now, press S, which is the scale key, and we're going to click, and hold shift, and drag it out until we have an egg that's almost the size of our artboard, like that. Okay, now we're just going to rearrange things to make sure that our small egg's above our big egg, like that. And this bigger egg, to give it a different effect, I'm going to switch it to another gradient. Let's do maybe purple. Let's do something like that. Okay, good. And yes, let's apply it the right way. Perfect. Cool. Next step we're going to do, we're going to select both of our eggs. We're going to go to Object, Blend, and Make. Then we're going to go to Object, Blend, and Blend Options. This box is going to pop up. I want you to click on Preview. And then right here, you're going to click on Specified Steps. And we're going to move this up to maybe five or six. And that's going to make five or six of these layers. And they're all the perfect width and distribution. So it's perfect. Then we press OK. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go Object, Blend, and Expand. Now, every single one of these blended objects is an individual object. We're going to right click on our eggs. We're going to press Ungroup. And then we're going to select this shape and this shape. So not these ones, so this and this. I hold shift, select them both. We're going to go to Pathfinder and we're going to press Divide. Good. Then we're going to click on this outer shape, right click and ungroup. And that way these two shapes are separated. This is an important step. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is if we go to our layers, looks okay right now, we're going to select everything except our background, so only our eggs right here, and we're going to go again to Pathfinder and Divide. Okay, now this makes a little of a bit of a problem. You see, now we have a thousand layers to deal with. It's very annoying. Okay, so we can fix this. Um, by selecting this shape, so our background, holding shift and clicking. Oh, also, sorry, you have to right click on your egg to ungroup it. After you divide any object, you always have to ungroup it. So we select our background, hold shift and select every single one of these rings individually, including the center. And we're going to hold alt and shift and move it downwards like that. So I'm clicking and dragging it, and then we're going to delete this layer. And we're just going to select our layer that we moved, hold shift, and bring it up like that. Now the reason we did that is because before you saw how many layers there were, now there's only a few. That's exactly how we want it. Okay, cool. Now the last little step, really simple, we're going to select all of our layers except the center. So I selected everything and I'm holding shift, and I clicked on the center so now it's not selected. And we're going to go to Effect, 
stylize, oops, effect, stylize, yes, and drop shadow. This box is gonna pop up. Now the effect that you need to do right here, and I'm not gonna show it in the preview, but I'll tell you exactly what to do, is you want your X offset to be zero. That means your drop shadow is not gonna move on the X axis in any direction, okay? And you want your Y offset to something high. So I have 25 right here, I'll put it up to 30, we'll see what it looks like. What that means is that your drop shadow is going to move 30 pixels down your shape, like this. The blur you can keep at five, the color black, and the mode multiply, okay? The most important thing is that your X offset is zero to get this effect. Having done that, we press okay, and give it a moment as my very slow computer loads it up. Cool. Now that it's loaded up, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rearrange it. So we're gonna go to layers right here and we're gonna select the bottom layer right here and move it right to the top. And we're gonna do that with each layer like that. Until this layer right here is at the bottom. And having done that, we now have our effect that's complete and ready. And you see that the shadow is only pointing down because there's no X offset. It's really that simple. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to get rid of this black shadow you see on the artboard, it's really simple. We're just gonna press M, draw over top of your entire shape, a rectangle. It doesn't matter what the color is, don't worry. Select everything, right click and go make clipping mask and boom. Now your shadow is gone. So that was, that was the last, the final step. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy Easter, maintain social distancing, of course. Uh, if you have any questions, write them in the comments below. Like, subscribe, check out our other videos. And of course, as always, have a great day and have a happy Easter.